Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. I always tell people if I didn't have to work or do anything, I could just do whatever I wanted to, I'd practice the guitar. I don't know why, I just like to get better and I just enjoy playing the guitar so much. But because I make videos on all different topics, I go through periods of time where I don't get to play. Sometimes I'll go for weeks without playing. So yesterday I said, okay, I'm gonna start practicing something. I need to do a post for Instagram, for shorts, for TikTok. So what am I gonna practice? What am I gonna work on? Because basically my shorts or my Instagram posts are just what I practice in the morning to warm up. But after you have it warmed up, for a month or haven't practiced or even touched a guitar. I mean, I go for weeks without playing. It's like, what do you actually do to come back from a break? The first thing to go is your right hand, typically. That's the hardest thing to keep up. The left hand, you know, they, they can stay in pretty good shape, but the right hand goes. It's the synchronization between the two hands is what takes time to get back. So what do you actually practice? Yesterday I did a post. I like taking simple chord progressions. Let's say if you're in minor, just one minor, flat seven minor, flat six minor, and making little chord progression etudes, but using the modal sounds of each. Let's say you're in D minor. So it'd be D minor, C major, B flat major. So I'm gonna use like Aeolian, Mixolydian, Lydian sounds. <laughs> So this is what I practiced yesterday after taking a break. The way I wanted to warm up was to actually to play something on different strings. A lot of people will do these warm-ups that go like this. When I was in school, in college, that's what people would do. That was like a common warm-up. And every guitar player did it. I was like... Why would you do that? It's not really a musical sounding warm up. If you're going to warm up, warm up with th something that actually sounds, sounds like music, right? I mean, that's kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Don't practice stuff you're never going to use. I have an old saying, practice, and it's probably not my saying. It's probably something one of my teachers said to me, but I always would tell my students, don't practice what you know practice what you don't know. But then some students would come back and say, well, how do I know what I don't know? <laughs> okay, well, that's a good point, right? So uh, I always thought that was funny. So I said, okay, I'm gonna practice something that uses some string skipping so that my alternate picking gets used to moving across the guitar neck, okay? So I picked this shape. That's a D sus2 chord or D uh, sus9. And I alter to pick it. I don't have to alter to pick. I could do that, but I like the sound of alternate picking. And once again, that's what gets my hand in, in sync. But I did this. That's really like a D minor nine sound, pretty to the ear. So I went. Then I saw, okay, I'm going to add some more strings there in there. And I added that part to it to give it a little bit more uh, harmonic interest, right? And add some extra strings in it. <laughs> Thinking of it like an arpeggio or something like that, arpeggio break. <laughs> and one of the things is I have a slide in there and I have a hammer on and pull off in there. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just work on something that has a bunch of different techniques all together so that I'm practicing on position changes, slides with the pinky, a hammer on, a pull off on the way down, and try to make it musically interesting. Then I was like, okay, well, I needed to go somewhere. And the next thing I played was, um, I just changed the top note. pattern. Then the third one, I was like, oh, I'll add another note in there for color. And I added the flat six. That flat six really gives it a minor, minor.
minor sound. I love that. Beautiful sound. Later. And then I did on the fourth phrase. So my top notes going from this to that to that. It's descending, right? Second time. Third time. I didn't repeat them two times each. I just did it one time there. But I, I changed that B flat, added it on the third time just to make it different. Because musically, you want you don't want to have things repeat too many times. Usually, the third repeat of something, people are bored. So you want to change it for interest. And I'm like, OK, well, where do you go? Well, I'm going to go to C major next. So what's the pattern I'm going to use? So I went to. That, to me, is just beautiful, Sonny. I love that. I had never played that before yesterday. I literally had never played that phrase before yesterday. I use the same shape. It's the same. I love that sound. Then I went down to B flat. I did that, same thing with add nine. Then I was like, okay, well, what am I gonna do here? Then I thought, I'll go to that note instead. I'll keep that same note. For the second time. And then I did something like a. D minor chord with the 11 and the minor 9, which kind of gives you the sound of the whole thing, right? Just love those beautiful open string chords. But that was a practice thing that I would do or that I came up with yesterday to work on getting warmed up with the guitar. The next thing that I would do would be do something that was a scale thing and that might be the only thing that i practice for the day because i don't have a lot of time i might just take two ideas and maybe the scale thing is this i did this on an instagram post or a shorts post recently where i played a major scale d major scale with two notes per string so on the way up i use two notes on that string two there two two but then i Send it on the string, and on the way down, I do two notes on each string. Except on the low string, I descend down that. Finish off with an arpeggio. This is really kind of an optical illusion in a way, right? Because as I'm ascending, my hand's going back this way. You think, you hear the notes going up, but my hand's going back towards the headstock. And then the same thing, it's an optical illusion when I'm descending but moving upward. Like that.